Another warrior from the south arrived on the battlefield with only three arrows in his quiver. Only with three arrows he came to battle. And Krishna and others were there, a pre-battle preparations are going on. He came and said, people asked him, how come you have only three, three arrows? He said, with one arrow I can kill all the Kauravas. With one arrow I can kill all the Pandavas. So, three is more than enough for me. When Krishna heard this boast, he said, why don't you show what kind of skills you have? And he showed him a banyan tree with thousands and thousands of leaves. He said, let me see with a single arrow how many leaves you can pierce. Barbaric used a single arrow with the necessary empowerment of occult. And with a single arrow, he pierced every leaf on the tree and the arrow came and hovered around Krishna's feet, which was over a fallen leaf, waiting to pierce that. Krishna said, that's very impressive. And on whose side will you fight? because nobody has seen him before, he's come from the south. He said, I will always fight on the losing side. Day by day, I will see. If Kauravas are losing, I'll fight for them. If Pandavas are losing, I'll fight for them. Any time when I see one particular army is losing, I will fight for them. Now Krishna looked at this situation, so if this guy is on the other side, you should not win, that'll be the formula. Because if you win, if you start winning, this guy will join the… if he's on this side, he will go and join the other side. So uh, Krishna said, can I ask you for something which will you… will you give it to me? I want you to remove the head of one warrior. Barbaric said, for you I will do it, tell me who it is. Krishna went into his camp, brought out a mirror and showed it to him. Barbaric knew he was done in. He asked one request, yes, but I have come all the way from the south to see this war. I want to see this war. Such a great war, a warrior like me, I don't want to miss it. I wanted to see the spectacle of this war. So Krishna said, that's okay, you remove your head. I will see that your head can see and speak. So he took his sword and removed his own head and held it by the hair and gave it to Krishna before he fell. So he gave the head to him and they placed the head in the battlefield, in a vantage point where he could see everything. And it so happened that when the war began, any time he saw something cowardly, something funny, Barbaric would laugh so uproariously, he would unnerve lot of soldiers. <laughs> and just his laughter would create such a disharmony. Then. After a couple of days of battle, Krishna said, let us give him a much better vantage point and move the head to the top of the head, top of the hill. From there he can see and laugh, too close up, he is unnerving our soldiers. So that head was kept on the hilltop, sat there, just the head, watching the war, laughing, commenting and doing things. And remind me later, when the war is over, we'll see what the head has to say about the war. So this head sat on top of the hill and watched the whole game. 
when Dronacharya was killed, after that Arjuna kind of raging now because Karna is going to be the commander and he wants to kill him. All these days he was kind of… Krishna was kind of pampering and babysitting Arjuna. Now he came out, Arjuna, you just know this. You are not the greatest archer. Any day, with eyes closed, Karna will be a better archer than you. Arjuna was shocked. Krishna, you are saying this to me. Krishna said, I am telling you the truth. Tomorrow you are going to battle with that man. So you better know the truth. Fancy things you can believe from distance. When you come close up, you better know it. Tomorrow you are going to battle the man. I want you to know he is a better archer than you any day. He has Shak Indra Shakti with him and a few others, Ayudas with him. If Indra had not taken that Kavacha, his armor and his Kundalas, if these two things were not taken from him, please know this, he can defeat you and kill you. He can defeat Indra himself and kill him. Why Indra? He can defeat me and he can kill me. I want you to know this, even I could not take him in battle if he had his Kavacha and Kundala. Do not believe you are superior to him, you are not superior to him. As long as the Shakti is in his hands, he will kill you effortlessly. Arjuna is kind of disillusioned. He is always walking around with his aura of being the greatest warrior on the planet. He was completely disillusioned. Krishna, you are saying this to me that I am not the greatest archer. Krishna said, absolutely you are not the greatest archer. <laughs> and after the war is over, Pandava soldiers who are few left, they wanted to know in this battle who was the greatest warrior, who fought better than whom. They came and asked Krishna, who was the best warrior in this battle of eighteen days? Eighteen days, of absolute brutality and slaughter, who was the best man in this? Krishna laughed and he said, why don't you go and ask Barbaric? He's been sitting there having a gallery view. <laughs> He's in the stadium. <laughs> He's looking at the whole game absolutely without missing anything. I've been into so many situations, I would have definitely missed something, ask him. He will know. So they went to Barbaric's head, which was sitting there on the mountain. And they asked, who is the greatest warrior? Who made this… I mean, who achieved the victory? Which warrior was the determining factor? So Barbaric said, it was neither Arjuna, nor Karna, nor Bhishma, nor Drona, nor Ashwatthama, nor Drishtadhyamna, nor Pandavas, nor Kauravas, who decided the course of this war. 
it was Vishnu in a deceptive form. It is the Sudarshana Chakra which won the war. It is the Sudarshana Chakra which, chakra which caused the slaughter. From this point, from this vantage point, I could not see anybody killing anybody. I only saw Sudarshana Chakra going around and doing all the killing. <laughs>